Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday, 6.30 in the morning. We are in Prescott, Arkansas, which is where I left off with my last video. But uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, we're pulled into a parking spot, and I do that, I get asked why I pull into parking spots. Well, one, I pull, liquid tanks are like 38 feet long, I've measured them before, but they call them a 40-foot trailer. So Bella and the trailer fit inside a parking spot without hanging out. So I'm not impeding in the, par in the lot at all, poking out. But the reason I do that is because, one, Bella's so loud, when I fire her up, I try not to bug the people around me. And two, that thing, or what that thing controls, my APU, which is an auxiliary power unit. It's a diesel engine I have hanging on my frame rail that's hooked to a generator that powers a basically an RV HVAC unit. It gives me heat and air. It keeps the cool, truck cool without having to idle it. So... Uh, Idling's not good on the engine. Uh, diesel fuel is over $3 a gallon right now, and the big engine burns about a gallon an hour when it's idling. The little engine burns about a tenth of a gallon, so they say. So it's cost effective, supposedly. So, and I say supposedly because that thing is fifteen thousand dollars so it's got to pay for itself before it starts you know being cost effective so uh, anyway um, it hangs on my passenger side which if I'm backed into a parking spot puts it right underneath people's heads which also puts everybody else's I'm not the only truck driver who has one lots of people have them most people's are mounted just like mine puts theirs right underneath my head so, just to avoid all the noise, I'm, I'm not a big baby about it or nothing like that. I'll back in the parking spots, what have you. But it also protects Bella's front end for the most part. So, I mean, at, in this particular spot, I do have to worry about people backing into me. But in a normal, where there's not trucks on the other side, I mean, it protects my front end. So, that's why I do it. So... This particular parking lot in Prescott, Arkansas, back there, there's a huge area to the next row of trucks. And makes it easy to pull into a parking spot, makes it easy to back out of a parking spot, unless you get these guys right here. They are parked long ways in the parking lot, not in parking spots. So, uh, I'm going to jump out, see if I'm going to be able to get out of here, and, and uh, I don't even know where that came from, excuse me, adjust accordingly, let's we'll see what we got here. See, you can see all the distance I would have to back out of here, but because these guys are parked in the middle of the parking lot, most likely because they are not good at backing up, but uh, kept my distance rather short. Now I can still get out of here, I've done it tighter, but I think what I'm going to do is I must have a short return signal. It did. For some reason, I have a ground issue in them cab lights right there. So it's because there, there's a turn set that got them wired to the turn signal, and it's yeah, it was giving the the truck feedback 
actuating these don't take very much juice so I was giving it enough juice to uh, actuate the turn signal so anyway I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up some and we're going to slip right out through that hole right there so we're going to get it done here before somebody else pulls in because this bobtail wasn't here he just pulled in not very straight but anyway it was a really nice ride over there W900 Big bunk, studio sleeper, I guess I should say. guy here late enough last night I kind of thought maybe that guy in front of me would be gone by now but such is not the case and there you have it like I said I could have got out I've done it actually I've done it here for the same reasons I've had to back out. Like I said, with a 40 foot tank, it's pretty easy. You can put the thing almost anywhere. If I had a shorter truck, I really could put it almost anywhere. Or pretty much anybody could. Truck driving is not as hard as you might think it is. And if I had a cab over like that one right over there, <laughs> I could really put it some places. But anyway, I'm going to go around here get some coffee and we'll get on the road all right got the java juice got a sausage biscuit and going to get back on the highway mrs. truck and life was just texting me but uh, yeah it's raining and it's raining good and a little piece of trivia I hate being wet hate it I threw my hoodie on here and it soaked up most of it. My legs are a little bit wet. But anyway, we're going to uh, get on the highway here. Better batter. Let's get at her.
in North Little Rock. Stop use the restroom. I come in the <clears throat> excuse me. For anybody that uh, has been here, I come in the back way when I know I'm coming in here, coming north because there's stop signs up there and it creates a whole bunch of issues. Nobody knows when to go, what have you, and with pulling liquid it's on an incline, what have you. It's just easier for me to come in the back way. So that's why I came in the back way if you're wondering. Uh, gonna go in, use the restroom, and then we'll get back on the highway. jacked up.
this exit because it makes it easier to get into the side of the road that the chrome shop's on. Going to Empire Chrome, by the way. Came over here to check on some lights for my cabin sleeper. I want to look at them by brand because the brand that I have keep going out and shorting out. They're shorted out now, so they're giving me feedback on my turn signals and uh, blowing fuses, all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're gonna check on some lights. Empire Chrome. 
This is the light aisle I am in. The lights I want are down there on the left, but they don't have any. Everything is back ordered right now, which is why Bella hasn't gotten fixed. Almost everything is back ordered. Pretty much everything is back ordered. I got all the mud flaps. I got stacks over there. Toolboxes. Pretty much everything. Repeat. Sleep panels, cabin sleep panel, light panels. Ooh, air cleaner panels. I like these. I have a friend who has these. Those are for the front, obviously. And these ones here are for the back. They have red lights here instead of amber ones. Said everything was on back order. There are no flap hangers there. Stacks of them. Home built fenders with half fenders. Or full fenders over here. Covers and hubcap sets. Train horns. I'm gonna have to replace mine. Mine's been all kinds of stuff. The steering wheels. Think, think Bella needs a white wheel like that one. I have a wheel similar to that, but it's turquoise. And these are the lights that I need. They're on back order. I have some like this, the ones that are in it. They're amber. They're made by this company over here. And those are the ones I don't want. You know, they seem to have lots of them. Lots and lots of them. I really don't want to buy the same problems again. So, I'm going to wander around here and look some more. And then we're going to get back on the highway. Alright. I ended up buying 40 replacement lights. 
They were made by the company. I'm pretty sure it's already in here, but she said she would warrant, warranty them for a year or so. I'm going to give them a shot. I'm just going to change out all the ones in my cab and sleeper. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, not that I'm not talking down on her or anything like that. It just I'm just curious as to what the issue is. So uh, I'm going to replace them all when I get a chance, when I get time. And if you were wondering what the price of lights is, uh, 40 of them was $9.99 a piece. So let's see if I can get it to read it there. There you go. Uh, yeah. Anyway, $449.53 with tax. So um, it's a tax write-off. I just went, all right, I just went to walk into the truck stop and I seen this. As I was backing in, so I got to show you all this truck. He's from up my way too. He's from Pennsylvania, but look at this. I'm assuming it's a glider, 389, and I can tell by that sound that's a cat. My 01, I had an 01 that was this color, uh, gray with black fenders. Boy, is this sharp. I know the pumps are in the way and everything, but it's got a match a trailer, low boy, four axle. I don't know that much about doing oversizing the civilian side, but boy, it's sharp. I didn't ask him for none of the specs on it or nothing like that. He was walking in. I did ask him if I could record, but oh yeah, nice clean deck rails, deck plate between, between the rails. I ran those two together. Nice and clean. I like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Alright, I know it's only been a little bit of time, a few seconds for you guys. It's been over an hour for me. So, <laughs> I decided to get something to eat while I was here. So, got something to eat, going to get on the highway. So, here we go. I'm going out this way, because I'm being lazy. I don't want to go clear out and around the parking lot. Piece of gum. I was going to do that because I didn't wait long enough before I got into the throttle.
that back up going south. talking to uh, another driver that watches the channel. He actually just saw old uh, high strung and bike behind the wheel down in Miami last week, he said. Put it right here against the curb.
All right, guys. We got her parked. Just parked against the curb here. So, uh, don't have to worry about bugging anybody with the pipes or the APU running. And uh, I'm going to do a 10-hour break and get up and do it in the morning, but I'm going to do it for this video. You just heard me talking to uh, a viewer, I guess you would say. Uh, another driver that watches the channel. So, um, yeah. I enjoy talking to y'all. I'm glad people enjoy it. And I really am. I never thought in a million years anybody would. So, um, thank you all. And, uh, I guess drop me a comment. Let me know something you guys might like to see. I, I've been trying to accommodate everything people ask for if I can, but, um, walk, <clears throat> excuse me, walking around the truck more often and stuff. But anyway, and do it for this video. Keep a shiny side up. Safe travels. See you in the next one.